Making a living doing what you love is a serious challenge for a lot of Tennessee artists. Well, some face more obstacles than you might imagine. Edwin Lockridge knows this firsthand. This is the story of a mixed media artist who's encountered more than his share of roadblocks on his journey to success. I'm a multimedia artist, mixed media artist. Anything that I can find, I put in art. Found out to find along highways and streets, alleys, wherever I can find stuff interesting, I pick it up and make art out of it. Edwin Lockridge is a Nashville born artist who spent more than 50 years honing and perfecting his creative talent. A talent he says was blossoming even as a baby. My father went to Tennessee State and studied art. And my parents have actual photos of me as a baby in a crib with a pen and pencil, painting and drawing. In the many years that followed, Edwin experienced the usual ups and downs of struggling artists. However, since the onset of COVID, he's endured an especially painful burden, homelessness. So how'd you get by then? Oh, faith. <laughs> it hit me especially hard because not a whole, whole lot of family members left and mother and father, um, Alzheimer's, yeah, illness. Um, it was pretty rough on me. Fortunately, Edwin discovered a place called Daybreak Arts. It's a local nonprofit that creates artistic and economic opportunities for those experiencing homelessness. Nicole Minyard is executive director. We have people who have gone to art school and we have people who are just self-taught artists and they all come together with this common experience of, experience of homelessness and create um, really beautiful art together. With his eye-catching art, and infectious personality, Edwin quickly became one of Daybreak's favorite members. And I just remember being so excited by his creativity and talent. He um, was so resourceful and would take so many unique materials to create so many um, inspiring things. Speaking of resourceful, one day when he was out of canvas and money, he discovered a rather creative and cost-free substitute. Actually, when I ran out of canvases and I could not afford them, and I saw the first bumper, and that actually inspired me. And uh, whenever I run out of money, I of canvases, I go looking for bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, his work was part of an exhibit of Daybreak Artists at Bellmead United Methodist Church. Pastor Steve Stone was delighted when Edwin came back for more. He came back later and did another showing prior to COVID, and then he came back again. So we just, he's a regular artist for us. He's a friend of mine, and uh, we've just gotten to know one another and love each other, and it's a good thing. Since then, Edwin's displayed his works at numerous other churches and private galleries. Also, his talent is gradually catching the eyes of art lovers and potential buyers. To his legion of friends and admirers, it couldn't happen to a nicer, talented guy. He works really hard to do art and to partner with Daybreak Art and do a lot of good things. And so he's, he's working really hard doing his thing. He's an amazing artist. Everyone in our collective loves Edwin. Um, they definitely, he has a spirit that um, it's just so kind and makes you feel so special and welcomed. And I think that, you know, our staff feels that, our board feels that, customers feel that, uh, but most importantly, our artists feel that. While Edwin is still technically homeless, he's far from hopeless. The attention for his art is growing, well, just like the passion he has for creating it. Well, you have to start off with a empty canvas, a blank canvas and make something beautiful out of it that somebody admires and that which could possibly change the world. That for me is a blessing. Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. 
If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.